And finally, there will be something called a dabba the beast. It will come out of the earth. Allah knows what it looks like. الناس, it will speak to the people that you have disobeyed your Lord. The dabba is a beast. And it is mentioned in the Bible as well, the beast. And the sign of the beast is mentioned in the Bible. And the Quran mentions, uh, That when the fate has been sealed, we will cause a beast to come out from the earth. This is the beast. The beast that walks the earth. A dabba in Arabic means anything that walks the earth from an animal form. So it walks the earth. And it's called a beast because it doesn't have a particular human form, nor is it known to be of any animal form that we know of. And Allah says, "Tukallimun nas." In the Quran, it taught, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that "Tukallimun nas." It will speak to the people with speech that you can understand this beast. Some of the descriptions narrated is that it is a huge animal. Some say it will come out of the earth. The authentic hadith is that it will come out of the earth in three days. But what they say is the first part of it, the first third of it will come out. It will be huge like a mountain, the second part and the third part. So it's larger than a mountain, some say. Some say that it has the features of different beasts. So it's not one particular form. And it will be carrying with it the stick of Sulaiman and it will wipe the people in two different colors. One is a dark color and one is a light color. In one hadith, which is authentic, it says that a person will be able to, this is towards the end of the world, towards the end, a person will be able to tell who the disbeliever is from the believer, just by looking at them. And Allah tells us in the Quran to nas annakum bi ayatillahi. It will speak to the people that you lied about the verses of your Lord. It talks to the disbelievers saying you have lied, you have de denied them, you have disbelieved in them. Basically it's telling him that today is this separation and there is no more repentance at that time. This is also evidence, no more repentance at that time and it comes after the Dajjal and the rising of the sun. Allah knows best, but this is the indication of the hadith and ayat. It's a clear distinction, it tells people who, what you are, the good from the evil, and you'll be able to tell the difference between these people. And it will speak to the people, and Allah would have sent it like a messenger, but not a prophet or a messenger that we're talking about. It's like a different type of messenger. This is another sign. The world will know about this beast, and it will go to everybody. It will travel the whole earth, and people will hear it. At that point, the signs of the last hour have almost ended. That's it. There's no more other signs that tell us about its coming, except the signs of destruction. The signs of destruction. 